Hello friends, in this part 3 of our one signal implementation, we are going to learn how to add custom notification icon to our one signal notification. So we continue from where we left off in part 2, we had created uh, the push notifications and we could receive the push. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, create a few folders for the resources that we are going to download later on. Let's go to resources. Here we are going to create drawable folders. Follow me. So we are going to need drawable MDPI. These differ uh, per screen density. So we create different folders for different devices. So that our notification is valid for various devices. In this case, XXH DPI. We have MDPI, XH DPI, XXH DPI. Let's have another one, drawable. XXXH DPI. Then we can also have HDPI drawable. HDPI, HDPI. Okay, so we have got our drawable HDPI, MDPI, XHDPI, XXHDPI, and XXXX HDPI. So in here, we're going to paste uh, the icons that we'll download. Let's go ahead and uh, first look at the documentation so that you understand where all this is coming from we look at the one signal documentation on custom icons open your browser then uh, we go to one signal documentation dot one signal dot com here you find everything you need from customizations to insights so i want icons notification icons so you can read through this to learn more about one signal and uh, of course come up with your your own customizations. So what we just created are these the DPIs, that's the density. We created these folders. MDPI, HDPI, XHDPI. Yeah. So we are going to copy this name because this is needed for one signal to access the icon. Then we're going to go to Android Asset Studio. It, uh, here it's recommended that we use Android Asset Studio to generate our notification. Once you use Android Asset Studio, all the notifications are already sized up for you. So let's go to Android Asset Studio. You'll find the, these links in the description below. So once you're in Android Asset Studio, just choose Notification Icon Generator. Here, you will have a number of icons already created for you. You can just choose the ones you want. But uh, this Asset Studio also allows you to import your own icons and it resizes for you. So for this tutorial, let's just choose uh, this one as our sample custom notification icon then download it on the top right there so it downloads a zip package this zip contains those folders we just created in our project so we are going to extract this let's extract it Extract it to a folder that you will remember. So I've extracted it here. Our icons will be here. So we are going to import uh, the contents of these folders to our project. Let's go back to our project. So we are going to open the HDPI folder first, then import. Here you will locate the folder you extracted the content to. So there we go, race HDPI, then choose HDPI. So it has imported our 
icon we just rename it to the name we copied in uh, one signal IC dash state dash one signal dash default so as you're going to import all of them don't forget our folder structure so now we're on MDPI so this means you're going to import from MDPI in the downloaded assets MDPI repeat the procedure rename the file save go back XHDPI locate the downloads again then XHDPI rename this go back let's go to xx hdpi do the same rename save go back to uh, where are we now yeah we should be here okay download open the folder you extracted in rename okay so we are done that was our last folder drawable xxx hdpi so now we are ready to run our project and we should be able to see our custom notification icon showing up when we receive a notification so let's run this open so let's test if it works let's just enter a title works then let's enter a message yes custom custom notification works then image URL uh, let's just enter anything since we don't have the image URL then we generate the one signal ID then send the notification so there we go we have received our notification in the notification bar and it's showing the icon that we just set in our project in sketchway so you can see it here the icon is showing okay that's all with this tutorial you have learned how to set a custom notification in one signal